revival. Come on, somebody. This end time message, this end time revival will bring forth all around the world. This is what God is showing me. This is what he's showing me even now. He's showing me the, the earth. My spirit is hovering over the earth. Come on, somebody, I need you to share this broadcast because I need as much people to hear this as possible. Hey, God, I hear you. Prophet Benjamin Smith, man of God, great man of God, welcome. Good to see you on the live feed. I hear the Lord as my spirits begin to hover over the earth. I'm seeing cracks in the earth. I'm seeing cracks in the earth and I'm seeing like cloves of fire being released all around the earth. I'm seeing like cloves of fire, even as my spirit hover above the earth. I'm seeing cloves of fire released out of the earth. It is coming from the belly of the earth. Ah, God. Mm -mm. Jesus. I'm seeing cloves of fire coming out of the cracks of the earth. And I hear the Lord says, I will cause my people, I will cause my prophetic voices to be heard all around the earth. And the clothes of fire that you are seeing, are those that has been rebaptized with the fire and the all-consuming fire of my spirit. And I hear the Lord says, when they release a word, it shall be like fire shut up in their bones. And I hear the Lord says, there will be a great revival in the earth. Uh, I hear the Lord. I hear the Lord. And I'm seeing this. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing fire. Oh God, help me to explain this to your people, God. I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing fire. I'm seeing clothes of fire. Mm. The Lord says, say it like this, like the clothes of fire that was seen above the heads of the people that gathered in the upper room. God says, the clothes of fire that you are seeing, my daughter, he says, these are the kataman nebosha, tamaman nebosha, is my spirit, re kataman nebosha, being released on the earth as I promised, re kataman nebosha, I hear you, God, and I will cause your daughters to erupt, I will cause your sons to erupt, I will cause your old men to erupt, I will cause my true prophets to erupt. Erupt uh, with the fire, with the prophetic voice of the living God. No longer will they compromise. My voice. No longer will there be a compromise of my voice, says the Spirit of the living God. If I'm about to uproot, I hear you, Abba. I'm about to uproot that evil altar. And I'm seeing this huge, huge, huge altar. And I'm seeing like a beast sitting on this altar. It's almost like a, a chair made of gold. Man, hear me, hear me in the spirit and hear me well. It's almost like a, 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 a chair. And it is a huge chair, but this chair is an altar. And I see this beast sitting on this altar. And it is switching. One minute, it looked like a dragon. And the next minute, it looks like a snake. Ah, God. I hear you, Abba. Yes, I see. I see in the spiritual realm, this huge altar where this beast is sitting on and it is shifting one minute it looks like a dragon and the next minute it looks like a snake and it is sitting on this huge altar this huge big chair and I hear the Lord says I see this huge ball of fire coming from the heavens ah God I hear you I hear you I hear you ah oh, Jesus mm. Mm. I see this huge ball of fire coming from the heaven. 
And I hear the Lord says, I will destroy the beast and I will destroy the serpent. Somebody come on and pray for me. Somebody come on and pray for me. Somebody come on and pray for me. I hear the Lord says, I will cause the beast to fall and I will cause the serpent to fall. I hear the Lord says, I will cause them to fall. I will cause them to fall. Somebody come on and help me pray. Somebody come on and help me pray. I'm seeing this altar. I'm seeing it being consumed by fire. And I hear the Lord says, I will cut, I will cut it short. I will cut it down. I will uproot the altar of the wicked beast and of that wicked serpent. Ah, God, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. People of God, if you never heard anything else that I've said, if you never pay attention, if you never shared a video, share this. Share this. I see. Oh, God. I, I don't know if I could do this, Lord. I don't know if I could do this. Mm. I don't know if I could do this. 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 Ah, Holy Spirit, I need strength. I need strength. Mm -mm. I need strength. I need strength. As I'm seeing this altar being destroyed, I see seven nations. Oh God. I'm seeing seven nations. I'm seeing the names, but I will not release them. I'm seeing seven nations and I hear the Lord saying I will cause them to fall. I'm, I'm seeing seven nations coming out of this ball of fire that God is using to destroy this altar where this beast and the serpent is sitting on. And I see seven nations and I hear the Lord says I will destroy and I will cause them to fall. I will cause them to fall in this season for too long. You've caused my people to go a whoring. You've rearranged my laws. You've caused my people to be wayward. And I hear the Lord says, I will shut down your voices and your agendas. I will cause fire to only consume. I see some. Some labs, I see some countries, some nations uh, about to catch on fire. I hear the Lord says, uh, It is my doing because I'm about to destroy their plans uh, and their agendas. I see some labs that uh, are full of computers, uh, and I hear the Lord says, I'm about to destroy some software. Oh, God, mm. Woo. Jesus, mm. it's your listen. Mm -mm. Holy Spirit, what is this today? I feel the fire of the living God, people of God. I don't think the spirit of the Lord has ever dealt with me like this before. I'm to the point where I am shaken. I'm to the point where Jesus. Mm -mm. If you know the true words of prayer. This is the time to pray for your true prophets. This is the time to pray for the true prophets. We will come under fire. We will come under fire. And I hear the Lord said, Are you willing to lay your life down for me? I hear the Lord said, Ask them, Are they willing to lay their lives down for me? You will be persecuted. You will be killed. The true voices I've released in this season. I'm also releasing the spirit of boldness. People will be shocked. People will be afraid 
of the words that will be spoken from the true men and women of God. And they will seek to kill. They will seek to slaughter. They will seek to silence the voice of God. But I hear God says, suffer it to be so. Some lives will be lost. Suffer it to be so. I hear the Lord saying, they may take this body. They may cut down this body. But you will enter into my rest. You will enter into my rest. Are you willing to lay your life down for me? There's going to be great persecution. Because the word of God is going to come so sharp. They will be afraid. Presidents will be afraid. Prime ministers, governors, government, they will be afraid. They'll be threatened and afraid. And they will silence. They will seek to silence the voice of God. But I hear the Lord says to ask you, are you willing to lay your life down? Are you willing to lay your life down? Pastor, prophet, prophetess, bishop, reverend, deacon, members, sisters, brothers, apostle. Are you really, really willing Thank you, Apostle Bean. Are you really willing to lay your life down? Some of us, we done made up in our minds. As of for me, I'm already a dead person. I'm already dead. This flesh has already died. To be in this position, to be a prophet, this you die daily. So I care nothing about this. I care nothing about this flesh. This crucified die daily. I'm already dead. In order to be a true prophet of the living God, you're walking dead because you die daily. But are you willing, truly willing, to lay your life down? When they put a choice between before you and they say, choose your God or choose this, what will you choose? For many of us, we think that they will come at us with a gun, with a knife, with a cutlass. And of, of course, it's happening in some parts of the world. But in the modern world, modern world, listen to me, people of God. In the modern world, they ain't coming to you with a gun or a knife. They can come to you with food. They can come to you with money. Make a choice. It's either your God or this. Make a choice. With you, 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 you want to choose. You want to feed your family. Make a choice. And for many of us, we won't make it. We won't make it. We won't make it. I've given you the word of the living God. People, perilous times. Perilous times. But fear not. I speak to the righteous. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I speak to the righteous. Fear not. Do not allow fear to grip your spirit. Do not allow fear to dwell in your hearts. If I will protect those that are mine. I hear the Lord say. If I will protect those that are mine. Even in these times, I hear the Lord says, instant productivity, the minute you speak it and declare it out of your mouth, it shall come to pass. 
Though a thousand might fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, no evil will come to deny your dwelling place. I hear you, Lord. Father God, I cover this, your people, with the blood of your son, Yeshua. May you protect them. May you guide them. May you lead them. Those that are listening to this word and those that will listen to this, may you protect them, Father God. I cover their ears. I cover their eyes, Father God, with the blood of your son, Yeshua. I come against retaliation. I come against backlash right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil seed, everything that has been planted, Father God, to destroy your people, may it be uprooted now in the name of Yeshua. We call forth, Father God, your warring angels. Dispatch them to the four corners of this earth, of this earth, to uproot, Father God, everything that is not of you. Our God, every spirit that has been sent against your people, we dismantle it now in the name of Yeshua. Now, God, we ask for you to go before us. Have your way and let your will be done. Every crooked part, make it straight. We cancel the agenda, the plot, the scheme, and the plan of the enemy. Now, God, as you are, Father God, separating the wheat from the tear, may you strengthen those that are wheat. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you, we magnify you. We bless your holy name. For those that shared this broadcast, may you bless them in a special way. May you open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that they may not have room to contain. Father, I magnify you, I glorify you, I give you glory. I don't know who just said the word so, but I just heard that in my spirit. I don't ask for anything, but I just heard a woman. I heard you. I heard you just said, um, I want to sow. I heard the word so. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, I don't ask for anything. But if you want to, because I heard it, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. And I didn't hear a bunch of people. You may have been thinking it. I only hear one person said it. I can't say, I hear everybody say, and this is what God lies. I did not hear any, I did not hear that. And I'm not going to say what God didn't tell me to say, but I hear one person said, how can I sow? How can I sow? If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can use the PayPal. Um, it's paypal.me slash walking into destiny. I will post it. In the comment section, I'm not asking anybody for anything. I come on, I do what the Lord tell me to do, and then I leave. But I hear one person. I heard this woman. I heard this woman. You're an elderly woman. 41, 40, 40, in between 41 and 45. I'm seeing you. You're sitting down at a desk. I hear you. And you say, how can I sow into this woman's life? I hear you. You're sitting down at a desk. I see you. I heard you. You can contact me if you wish to do so after this. And if you're in the Bahamas, I don't know where you are. You can use my account. And if you um, want to use PayPal, you can use PayPal. People of God, I've done what the Lord told me to do. 